and I want to talk about cards <laughs> so let's talk about it um for one I make cards I've made five card decks so far many of them have to deal with words um I've made my chakra affirmation card deck which I love I love love I'm so happy about it because this was in my heart for a minute and I was stalling and procrastinating y'all even though I do help people to get out of that mode of procrastination, you know, I'm not going to front that sometimes, you know, I am human. It, it happens, you know, but there's ways or certain ways to inspire yourself and move forward. And that is what I do. And that's what I help people and hold them accountable to that. Um, but I want to make this video about making cards, right? I've made cards for self healing purposes, you know, those purposes when I felt like I didn't have enough money to get help with a coach, you know, <laughs> or some type of mentor or spiritual, uh, you know, therapist and whatnot. I, I felt like I didn't. And then I also felt like, as I've learned throughout my journey of healing as well, sometimes you know you need help, but you're not sure where to start. You know, it's almost like, when you first start your healing journey and you, it just overwhelms you like, damn, I need mad help. <laughs> and it's like, where do I start mentally, emotionally, physically, you know? And um, where do I start? I started with my cards. I started with my intuition and I started wanting the desire to feel good with my decisions because a lot of my traumas and hurts, um, stemmed from a place of not feeling good about my decisions, having to make decisions um, that was very fearful. And, it, you know, it was almost like stepping into this accountability or responsibility more than like or before I needed to in my age or something, you know, um, not to tell my story that much. But if you stick around, you'll know more about my story. But you know, if you've ever felt like that, that you've like, where do I start? Where do I begin? Then cards are a great form of doing that. You know, if you watch a lot of tarot readings, um, it's a great time to kind of stop consuming and start creating. Because we know if you like cards and you like tarot, you're probably like me watching a whole bunch of tarot readings, right? And then you start thinking like, well, wait a second here. Something don't feel right. It's because you've watched too many videos or that message ain't for you, but you're absorbing so much. You're kind of getting like, oh, well, wait a second. You know what I mean? That's definitely what happened when my cherry got popped. <laughs> and watching videos that sunk like what felt like a straight up personal reading. Right. And then like to my readers out there. Healers need healers, healing too, right? And I wanted to talk about this. I've seen a lot of um, index cards, um, index cards, like ways to use index cards for your self-healing, the same way I did. But with my graphic design background and me tooting my own horn about the designs that I, I enjoy doing, I did it for myself as a project. And I started with pieces of paper. I started with index cards. But me knowing the process, me knowing the comfortability of my own process of creativity allowed me to create my cards. And then in the very beginning of that, I started realizing like, oh, this is, you know. But after, what, four or five decks, I have a down pack. And this is why I made a package um, of Firm Your Creativity where I help people, I coach people one-on-one -on -one to really cultivate a goal cultivate a soul care ritual that we work on i hold you accountable for i hold space for and we work through this through um chakra healing we work through this with affirmations you know doing some shadow work doing some creative healing work and um being in tune connecting with the creative spirit right 
and doing practical activities that help you work simultaneously creating your affirmations. And then by the end of the program, you done made, you know, a full firm design and you have a good amount of affirmations, a card deck that is 33, between 33 and 44 affirmations that you can actually use now with your soul care rituals. So if you want to look into that, definitely look at the link below because that's something that I love doing. That's something that I somewhat just started. I have an enrollment right now. Um, I have a sign up. People are signing up and um, the open enrollment ends June 30th. So I won't be taking that many clients. You know, um, I do look for an application to see if this is what you're, you know, really ready for to commit to your creativity, as well as like, if this isn't just like, I just want to make an affirmation deck. It's a little bit more than just making an affirmation deck. It's a little bit more of converting your um, affirmations, your index cards and turning them into a printable, um, productive card set. It's a little bit more than that. Cause if you just want that without the coaching, that's cool. We can talk about that. But my affirm your creativity is a little bit more, a little bit special and it exudes and it in, infuses your magical essence into that and really helps you cultivate a new way of thinking. It shifts you into a mindset more of creating in an abundant way instead of feeling like your creations aren't truly worthy or feeling like, eh, I don't know, or just getting that block out of the way, you know, getting yourself out of the way and really moving forward towards the path of creativity. So there's one thing I do want to talk about. It's perf I it's fine using index cards. I don't I still don't know to this day how y'all be shuffling the way y'all do like regular cards because I can't do that. But I made a way where I can shuffle it and pick in to intuitively which card that I want to use. Um, it's great to start with something, right? But when you get into that creative spirit, you now have the confidence to create something out of nothing like create that full bloom of what your idea was instead of kind of like, well, this is the first step, right? And please don't get me wrong. I am not shaming anybody that use index cards in their card readings because the messages hit hard. It's all about the messages. Um, but I've noticed that through my, yeah, through my journey of where I'm at now up to five cards, which I will be having for sale soon, <laughs> like there's a whole process within a process with really trusting your intuition. There's a process of um, utilizing your cards too. And there's a process of knowing like, hey, I don't need to be consuming more. I need to be creating, you know, and finding that balance, you know, finding that balance of the feminine energy, that yin energy, and finding the balance of the masculine energy, that yang energy, and really making it whole like that yin and yang, right? Um, two whole parts coming together to create a bigger whole and really feeling safe within your creative designs. A lot of people don't feel safe creating because sometimes people feel like I should be doing something else, right? But why not have a little bit fun? Why so serious? Does life have to be so serious? I don't think so. And I'm saying this from a person that is so serious, <laughs> that has been serious through their entrepreneurship journey the past 10 years and being mad that I wasn't making money. But now that I'm making some money, it was because I'm finally in, like my inner child is feeling good. It's feeling great. <laughs> and my inner child knows how to communicate with me and have some fun. And my adult self is like, okay, you don't have to get too crazy, right? There are some things and responsibilities I do need to take care of, but I feel great to have fun. I feel great to create and I feel good showing it off too. And you know what? If it doesn't resonate with you, thank you. That's okay. <laughs> but if it does, I we can sit and talk more about this, right? 
So I just wanted to make this video to tell you about my affirmation creation <laughs> package it's, that's called Affirm Your Creativity, Getting Tongue Tied. And I'm also wanting to show you a process of a short mini process, starting with the tools that you have, right? Writing things down, creating an actual um, flow, creating a process that allows you to have a firm foundation to really hone in um, the words that you want to use for your cards, whether it's words of affirmations or words of just encouragement, inspirational quotes, and then start to formulate an, an idea of how you want it to be creatively, visually. And then you look at your design and you feel good about it instead of throwing it in the trash or oh, this isn't perfect enough, this isn't good enough. Creating something that makes you feel good knowing that this is part of your healing process. This is something that you can continually do on your own time of your own self-healing and um, really feel good with the decisions that you're making and trusting your intuition. So if you're really feeling the vibe, check the link below and please subscribe too because I'm going to make the following. Um, my next video will be about um, showing the process of that because I'm I want to show a little bit of something with my um, cards that I want to make and um, I, I really just wanted the feel of feeling like just hands on is not any type of printed production. I want it like a raw, um, raw watercolor style vibe type of thing. So I want to show that with you. And if you are really interested in seeing that, definitely stick around, hit that like button, comment below, let me know and subscribe so you get notified when that next video comes around. All right. So much love to you. This is Koi from Ray of Gratitude, giving you love, gratitude. Thank you for the viewers that do watch and show and comment. And thank you all for all that. And stick around for more because I have so much more creativity, inspiration, and love that I want to share. So until next time, I'm Cody. Peace. <laughs>